what is the difference between a monomial, a binomial, a trinomial, and a polynomial? A monomial basically has one term. Example of monomials are 5x, 3, 8x squared, 9x cubed. All of these are monomials. They have a single term. Mono means one. Bi means two. So a binomial is an expression that has two terms. So for instance, x plus 5 is a binomial. x squared minus 3x, that's a binomial. x to the third plus 8, that's another one. A trinomial has three terms. Tri means three. So an example of a trinomial would be uh, x squared plus 5x minus 8. Another example, x cubed plus 6x minus 7. They all have three terms. A polynomial is an expression that simply has many terms. Poly means many. 5x minus 7 plus x cubed and that's a polynomial. It's also a trinomial, but it can be classified as a polynomial. 9x to the fourth minus 5x plus 6x squared minus 7. That's a polynomial. It has many terms. Now let's work on some examples. Go ahead and classify the following expressions as a monomial, binomial, trinomial, or polynomial. So let's start with the first one. Notice that we have three terms. Therefore, this is classified as a trinomial. Now the second one only contains two terms, and two is associated with the word by. So this is going to be classified as a binomial. Now if it has more than three terms, like in this example, we have four terms, Simply use the word polynomial. The next one only has a single term, so this is going to be called a monomial. And the last one has two terms, so it's a binomial. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to identify the coefficients of every term, and also the degree of the polynomial. So let's say if we have a polynomial that looks like this. 6x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 7. So what are the terms in the polynomial? The terms are basically what you see. 6x to the fourth is a term. Negative 5x squared is a term, and 7 is a term. Now, what are the coefficients of every term in this expression? The coefficient of the first term, which is 6x to the fourth, is the number in front of x. It's 6. The coefficient of the second term is negative 5, and the coefficient of the last one is 7. Now, what is the degree of each term in this expression? The degree of the first term is basically the exponent that you see. It's 4. The degree of the second term is 2. The degree of a constant, there's no x value next to it, so it's going to be 0. Now, what is the leading term? And also, what is the leading coefficient? What do you think the answer to those questions are? The leading term is the term with the highest degree. So it's 6x to the fourth. The leading coefficient is simply the coefficient of the leading term. It's 6. Now, what is the degree 
of the entire polynomial. The degree of the polynomial is basically the highest of these numbers. So it's degree 4. Now let's work on another example. So let's say if we have a polynomial that looks like this. 3x squared plus 8 minus 9x plus 7x to the fifth power. So just like before, identify all of the terms in this particular polynomial expression. Identify the coefficient of every term. And then after that, identify the degree of each term. Next, determine the leading term. The leading coefficient. And finally, the degree of the polynomial. So feel free to pause the video and work on this example. Go ahead and fill this in. So the terms are, let's list them in descendant order, 7x to the fifth, and then we have 3x squared, negative 9x, and 8. All of these are individual terms. The coefficient of each term is 7, 3, negative 9, and 8. Now, the degree of each of those terms, the first one has a 5 as an exponent, so it's degree 5. The second one is 2. The next one, we have an invisible 1. And for the constant term, it doesn't have a degree. It's degree 0. Now, the leading term is basically the term with the highest degree. It's not necessarily the first one. So the leading term is 7x to the fifth power. The leading coefficient is simply the number of that term, the number in front of the x. So the leading coefficient is 7. And the degree of the entire polynomial is basically the degree of the leading term. So that's the highest degree, so it's 5. Now, what if we have multiple variables? Let's say if we have a polynomial expression that looks like this. So go ahead and identify all of the terms, just like we did before, and then identify the coefficient of each of those terms. Next, find the degree of those terms and then identify the leading term and then after that the leading coefficient And then finally, the degree of the polynomial itself. So go ahead and try this. So let's identify all the terms. And let's put it in descendant order. So the highest term is going to be 3x squared y cubed. If you add up all the exponents, you're going to get the highest number. The next one is going to be well, 6x squared y and 5xy squared, the sum of the exponents are the same. It's 3. And then we have 7xy and finally negative 8. So we have a total of 5 terms. Now the coefficients of each term are 3, 6, negative 5, 7, and negative 8.
the degree of each term, the degree of the first one, just add the exponents, 2 plus 3 is 5. For the second one, 2 plus 1 is 3. For the third one, 1 plus 2 is 3. And for the fourth one, there's two invisible ones, which adds up to 2. And the last one is a constant, it doesn't have a variable, so it's degree 0. The leading term is basically the one with the highest degree. So it's going to be 3x squared y cubed. The leading coefficient is basically the coefficient of that term, which is 3. And the degree of the polynomial is the highest of all the degrees of each term, so it's going to be 5. It's to the fifth degree. Just add the exponents of the leading term, and that's going to give you the degree of the polynomial. 